This one will kind of take your breath away when you look at this, but this is what's left on my desk. I guess it wasn't two days, three days after the fire, Brett Anderson and, and Susan Redford were here with us. We've got a call from uh, Brett Anderson the morning after, I believe, after the fire. Uh, and we dispatched up here uh, that morning, come up here and take a look and survey the damage. There was parts of the building that had no sign of being there because they had all collapsed down onto the second floor. So you couldn't see it from ground level. I had to do an extensive asbestos abatement as part of the controlled demolition. Everything was compromised to a degree. We had to kind of go in there surgically and, and remove what, what we needed to and at the same time working with CPM, working with Texas Association of Counties to make sure, you know, we're, we're saving the integrity as much as we can from the historical value. The fire marshals are out here investigating. The scene's locked down. From there, it's kind of the temporary fencing to secure it for safety reasons, for liability reasons, also to preserve the, um, the structure. That happened in real time right away. Most of them are planned restorations that are funded and planned over several years and then we manage that whole process. This one, unfortunately, was born of necessity. The judge and the commissioners are public servants that are very busy as it is, and what we're able to do was connect them with Dave and his team that does have the expertise to oversee a project like this. First thing you've got to do is you've got to put together a plan. Part of that is stabilization of the building, and the LIDAR scans, making sure that the walls were in plane, that the columns, making sure that they didn't shift. Again, it's all about not making a bad situation worse, if that makes sense. Understanding public procurement and being able to solve problems as they relate to this project, more specifically the pre-purchase of the structural steel. With Judge Beard knowing that TAC was going to step up and help the county, that commitment was there on that level, and all we've got to do is just execute the plan but it really helped to have that relationship.